Welcome to A View from Hainer. I'm David Wyan, director here at the Hainer, and I am just back from a wonderful Hainer Hits the Road trip to Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. Fifty Hainer guests went along, and we just had a great time as we took in breathtaking views of the turning leaves in Vermont and New Hampshire, and we dined and shopped our way all the way up the East Coast. If you like to travel, be sure to check our website in January for all the 2020 trips. We would love to have you go along with us. As you know, it's always hard to return after being away. It's hard to come back to the real world, but we have some very exciting things happening here at the Hainer within the next couple of months. I will be hosting our Cabaret and Cabernet on Saturday, October 19th at 7 p.m. If you like Broadway music, if you like to sing it, or you like just to listen to it, join us in the Hainer Ballroom on October 19th, and we will sing the night away. Joining me this year will be Darren Wyan on bass, Devin Mitchell on drums, and our soloists this year include Greg Ash, Rachel Bosey, David Fair, Linda Lee Jolly, and Justin Williams. We will provide great snacks and pop, and wine will be available for purchase that evening. So we hope to see you here October 19th, Cabaret and Cabernet. Our annual Hainer Gift Gallery will be on Saturday, November 16th from 10 to 4 p.m. The house will be filled that day with fine artists and vendors. So if you're looking for that special, unique, one-of-a-kind holiday gift, please join us on November 16th from 10 to 4. I have 27 fine artists and vendors lined up to participate this year. So there'll be something for everyone at the Hainer Gift Gallery. And now, Leona has exciting news to share about our next exhibit and about our annual Boo Bash event. And Terry Lynn has some wonderful concerts lined up to tell us about. Mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest of them all? And also, what's going on this fall? <laughs> And we've traveled out to the art studio. We have so many fascinating classes here at the um, Troy Hainer Cultural Center. I wanted to introduce you all to one of them. This is Shirley Delatte. She hey. teaches what? I teach beginning oil painting. Beginning oil painting. And I got to tell you, these guys are learning a lot. They're taking the, the talents they, that they already possessed, coming into the class and increasing uh, their talents and learning new things and starting from the beginning because that's where Shirley starts. So Shirley's going to um, tell you about some of the stuff these guys learn and I'm going to step out of the way. Make one note here, we're not just beginning, we're also advancing. Mm -hmm. So that means we're learning and I, I think everybody's having a great time doing it. I was just ready to explain a little bit about blending color to the group, so let me do that. Um, I needed to darken this area. This can sometimes be frightening because I have a lot of work done on this already, but what I do is I take my color and I get it in here where I want it, and then I blend this way. So I want everybody to watch this because you... Yeah, I go sideways, and then I go up and down, and then I go around in circles, and I do all different things to blend it out. This is a, called a blender brush, and it's very soft. You don't put this in solvent because you can't blend with a wet brush. And I keep it dry. That's why I wear an apron. <laughs> And then I do the same thing throughout the entire painting. All of this color needs blended, and we're getting into it. We're going to get into some small areas. So then I would pick a smaller, softer brush and keep it dry, and then I would blend in this color right in here. Can everybody see this? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so then I keep building my color, and we end up with, hopefully... A pumpkin. 
Okay, well, in case you didn't recognize me earlier, I am Snow White, Evil Queen. My alter ego is Leona Sargent. I'm the exhibit coordinator here at the Home Center. And the Queen asked a mirror, what's going on this fall? You wouldn't believe the stuff we have going on this fall. <laughs> so I think I'll tell you about it. Our very next exhibit is called Young at Art, a, collect a selection of Caldecott book illustrations. The exhibit includes original illustrations from Caldecott medal recipients and from runner-up honor books. The exhibit will be on display from October 21st through November 30th. And you know what? Because it's such a fantastic exhibit coming, we have several activities planned that go right along with our exhibit. First of all, I bet you can't guess, it's our Boo Bash on Saturday, October 26th from 1 to 4 p.m. It's free and open to the public and there's a skit by the Boo Bash players. We'll have a character hunt. We'll have games like a ring toss and jousting and an obstacle course. Shh, don't tell our director. We're having jousting. On November 1st, you can come see Jumanji at 7.30 p.m. The 1995 version, it's rated PG, but it's free and open to the public. Did you know that the illustrations in the book Jumanji by Chris Van Allsburg won a Caldecott Book Award? It's pretty amazing. And did you know that that illustration is going to be on display at the Hainer Center? You do now. <laughs> on Saturday, November 9th, we have so much stuff going on. At 1 p.m., Tim Bowers, who is a native Trojan, is going to give a free presentation. Tim is an illustrator of popular children's books, such as Dream Big Little Pig by Christy Yamaguchi, and Dinosaur Pet by Neil Sedaka, and Footloose by Kenny Loggins. Tim, who graduated from Troy High School, has been illustrating children's books for a very long time. He also used to illustrate for Hallmark Cards. He's one of the original shoebox illustrators. Because Tim is so popular when he comes to Troy, We've had to make his presentation a ticketed event. You can get those at the Hainer Center desk receptionist. The tickets are free, but you have to have one for his presentation. Also, on November 13th at 6.30 p.m., the Miami County Public Library is showing the Polar Express interactive movie. This is in conjunction with our exhibit. And you know what? You still have to have tickets for that, but they're free. You can register for it by calling 937-339-0502, extension 128. And that's at the Troy Miami County Public Library, right next door to the Hainer Center. Last of all, in conjunction with our exhibit, Altrusa International of Troy will host several story times at the Hainer Center featuring exhibited works. These are for kids ages three to seven. The dates are Wednesday, November 6th, 13th, or 20th at 10.30 a.m. Tickets are required, but they're free and you can pick those up at the receptionist desk at the Hainer Center. 
If you have any questions about any of those, just see our website, www.troyhainer.org. And last of all, you can read our class brochure just like a storybook. There are lots and lots of pictures. It tells you all the exhibits that we have going, or all the classes that we have going on. And you know what? I'm getting really sleepy because I've been reading all these storybooks. And I've been munching my poison apple. Have a good day, and I hope to see you again. Hi, I'm Terry Lynn Meese. I work here at the Troy Hainer Cultural Center, and I want to talk to you about some music that's coming up. We have a, a very special program that we've started. This, uh, it's called the Community Concert Series. This is a really unique thing, and I kind of wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Um, what it is, we've opened up the Hainer to musicians in our area that would like to hold their own concert. This is very um, community-centered. It's very supportive of local musicians, and we're very excited about it. There's been some absolutely amazing concerts. So um, the f we're going to have one in October, and it's October the 13th, and this is a Sunday. It's at 2 o'clock. The Eclectic Three will be performing here in the East Room, and it's, it's a chamber group. Let me tell you their names because these are folks that you, you will probably recognize their names if you keep, keep uh, involved in music in Troy. This is Sharon Swanitz. She's going to play the alto sax. Tara Mart Iddings will play cello. And Yvonne Washer Carson will play the piano. So when you come to this concert, think about that. It's a community concert. It's uh, something that was generated in Troy, by Troy, for Troy. And there will be some more community concerts uh, throughout the year. So kind of keep your eyes open for that concept of community concert. The Eclectic Three, I'm going to tell you again, will be here uh, Sunday, October 13th at 2 o'clock p.m. These are all free and open to the public. The next thing that's coming up is Cabaret and Cabernet with David Wyan, which is a fun, fun musical event in the ballroom. I know he wants to tell you about that. So just saying, listen for that. Uh, and then our Drawing Room Chamber series is going to begin again in the month of October. The Drawing Room Chamber series was started in 1998 and has continued all these years, and it is just such a lovely experience. Most of the concerts are in this room, and it becomes this beautiful, intimate listening room. And we have some marvelous chamber performers here. Uh, Stephen Aldridge is the host of this series, and he's the fellow that uh, keeps his ears open and puts the series together and encourages the musicians to come and perform for you. What we're going to do on the, the uh, October 29th, this is most uh, the, la the last Tuesday of each month in the school year, um, is the night we have these concerts. So it's a Tuesday night, it's at 7.30 p.m., and these are all free and open to the public, too. So the October concert is going to be Tuesday, October 29th at 7.30, and what we'll have is the Jackson Leung Piano Studio. This is a rather famous pianist, uh, piano studio in, in Dayton, Ohio, and uh, they take students from all over the world, award-winning students, and it's quite an experience to come and hear these young people, uh, marvelous, marvelous musicians, play the piano for this concert. He, uh, this is probably the second or third time I've seen the Jackson Leung Studio, and it's, it's just a really beautiful evening. So I hope you will uh, think about that and join us, especially if you're a piano lover. We have lots of piano going on in October. Uh, I also wanted to talk to you about the brochure will be coming out um, in the month of November. So this is a really good time to get on the mailing list. You can do that either by calling the Hainer. Just let us know the next time you stop in. Just stop at the front desk. The other thing you can do is go online to our website, troyhainer.org, and um, go to the More About page, and you'll find the form there. Just fill out the form, and we'll get you on the mailing list. 
Uh, the, the, there's a good way to learn about community concerts, too, on the website. Um, if you haven't been there, it's troyhainer.org. You can either go to the music page or just type in community concerts uh, there in the URL, and you'll find that page. And the dates that we still have open, if you're a musician in Troy, uh, read over that, uh, that outline as to how these community concerts work, and you might find that you can have a concert here for your followers and your family and, uh, and become part of our community concert series. So month of October should be a great month for music here at the Hainer. Thanks very much. Thanks for joining us today on A View from Hainer, and I hope that you will be able to attend all or several of the events that we talked about today on today's program. And always remember, it's your house, so come and visit us soon.